In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a coyote time um, mechanic. So basically what that is, is when your player runs off the edge, for a fraction of a second, if they input the jump after they've left the edge, the jump will still take effect. Um, and that's a good thing, because sometimes if you're doing a game where there's lots of jumping involved, and your player inputs a jump just after they've run off the edge, um, like, it feels a bit shit if, like, the jump just doesn't go through, even though the player intended the jump to go through. Um, and a popular game this is used in is the game Celeste um, and in in my game like my problem is that when I'm in the air and I press the space bar to jump if my players off the edge they whip out their glider and sometimes I don't want to do that at all or like sometimes like space in some of my games is for fast fall and if they've just walked off the edge of the map and they press space intending to jump and it launches them straight down to the ground it's like the opposite effect of what they intended so I'm gonna show you how to create a um, coyote time well I'm going to create one myself because I want one for my game and I'm going to just just show you as I do it. But um, we're going to need to use the event tick to determine the instant when the player walks off the edge because there's no um, event that fires for that. So the way that you do that is you grab your character movement. This is in my player blueprint, my third person player blueprint. Um, and you say is falling. And every frame we're going to be checking um, if we're falling. Um, and what we might do is we might have a new variable, a boolean, uh, in air, question mark. And that's what that boolean is going to be called. And we're not going to set that every frame, actually, because what we're going to do is by default, we're starting on the ground. So we can set that to false by default. Um, and I might just move this to my movement tab. You can have that wherever you want. Now every frame, what we're going to be doing is checking if is falling is equal to is in air. Uh, or hang on, what's a better way to do this? Let's let's call this is falling, so they're the same. Or last is falling. Okay, so now if they're not equal then we know that a result has changed, okay? And so then if a result has changed, then we can uh, update the is falling, right, like that. And then when we update the is falling, this is when we can call the event um, to initiate our coyote time. So if the last is falling is true for falling, then we're gonna have an event, and this custom event is gonna be uh, open coyote time window okay I think that's how you spell coyote I might not even be spelling it right I don't even know I've never used this word before um, so open coyote time window and basically all that all that needs to happen here is we can just have a delay um, which could be coyote time. This will be the amount of time that um, you'll have to be able to input your jump command. And maybe it can be 0.2 of a second, that might just be perfect. Uh, so if is falling is now set to true, the result changed and it's now set to true, we're going to open the coyote time window. And I might just put a print string. This is just a fancy print string that I've made. Um, you can just use a normal print string. I'm just going to put coyote time open and then I'm going to put over here, coyote time closed. Um, and I might have a new variable, which I'll just call coyote time. Coyote time. Oh, actually, we'll call it coyote time open. Okay. And by default, it'll be false. And when you open the window, it'll be true. And then when you close the window, it'll be false again. And if this gets activated, this needs to be a re-triggerable delay. Because if you fall off um, an edge while the coyote time window is open, you want to reset the delay. So you reopen, you reopen the timer. Okay, so let me just jump in my game and just test that out. Uh, I'm going to open a testing map. Just with some, well, it says testing grounds. I think that's the one I want. And I might just build myself a platform as well. 
Okay, uh, we don't want any bad dudes in here, not at the moment. Uh, actually, you know what, we can probably just jump off the edge. I might just put a cube down. Make that lit. God, that's bright. Okay. So. So, you can see in the top left, we got open, closed, open, closed. And if I walk off the edge, open, closed. Okay, so let's make that a little bit longer so that you can see what's going on. Um, maybe let's make it one second just while we test it. So that it's easy. Easy to see what's happening here. Open and then closed, open, and then closed, and that's my glider. Um, so what's gonna happen is when I walk off and input jump then, we want him to jump instead of glide, so that's what we're gonna do now. Uh, so all of this, that's all fine. We can just leave that exactly how it is. Um, now you just wanna find your jump command. Now just ignore all this bullshit that's going on here, and just find when you've got your input jump, okay? Um, if you're in a, if you're in a, um, third person template it'll just be like jump and then it'll just have jump okay so if you input a jump and hang on let me just leave this connected this is all just multiplayer shit but don't worry about that um, this is my jump down here okay so basically just ignore what that looks like anything that goes past that node is just jump and it's just sound effects and things so jump right um, What normally it looks like is you got this thing here, is falling, and if is falling is false, if is falling is false, then we're gonna go on and we're gonna we're gonna jump, all right? Now, if is falling is true, if is falling is true, instead of just not jumping, let's check, is the coyote time window open? And if the coyote time window is open, then still go ahead and jump, okay? Now, I've got a feeling I'm gonna have some problems with this because, um, in my game, when I, when I press the space bar and I'm falling, uh, we open the glider, I believe, so... Actually, yeah, that's just set over here, so... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna confuse you with all my logic. Um, I'll deal with that after the video, but basically, this is what you need. Input jump. Are you falling? False. Go ahead and jump. If you are falling, is the coyote time window open? If it's open, then jump. If it's false, then don't jump. That's coyote time. Peace.